Hi, this is Dave Wolber from AppInventor.org and University of San Francisco. I'm going to show you how to build apps in the fastest way possible, Android apps, okay, using MIT App Inventor and its new version, App Inventor 2. What you want to do is just go to a browser, ai2.appinventor.mit.edu, and you can start building apps. Okay. What I'm going to do is show you how to build a pretty simple app. It's, I call it the I Have a Dream app. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project with that name. And all this app does is you're going to click on a button and it'll play speech by Martin Luther King. And we'll also put a picture of MLK up as, as well. So what just opened up is the App Inventor Designer. Okay, this is where you build your user interface. And the first thing I'm going to do is just change the screen title. So I only have one component right now called Screen 1. I'm going to go down and change the title, the, the, you know, the bar that shows up at the top of the app. And I'm just going to change the text there. And as you'll notice, it shows up here in the designer. Okay, But what I want to show you, what I always do is I connect my, my app I'm building to you know, my phone or tablet so I can test it right away. Okay, And the way you do that in App Inventor 2 um, is you go to this Connect To button. Okay, Now, for, for App Inventor, you don't need to download anything to your computer. But you do need to have an app on your phone. It's called the MIT um, App companion 2 okay if I clicked on connect companion it'll give me some instructions okay so one time you need to get on your device and download an app called the MIT AI2 companion okay once you have that it'll basically let you scan this QR code and then for whatever app you're building you scan this and it will show you your, your app running on your phone it's really nice it's a great way to test your apps Okay, and you can click on this link and it'll give you instructions. In fact, it'll give you another QR code to download that companion app. So you should do that right now. Get the companion so app this lesson, and then you'll be ready to go. I'm going to show you um, on the emulator. So I'm going to disconnect the companion and I'm actually going to use the emulator to, to connect and show you, show you how this thing works. Okay, so I'm showing this on the emulator and but essentially if you're, if you're using your phone you should see what I have and it should show you your new title here at the top top of the app. Okay, all right. Let's go back and let's actually build the UI for what we want. Okay, so I'm back in the designer. I'm gonna have two objects. One is an image component. This is where we'll put the picture of MLK, and one is a button component. Okay, and I'm going to change the text for the button to play. This is what they'll click to actually play the speech. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change the image the picture property for it. So I want to I want to put a image file in there. I'm going to say upload new. Okay, but first thing I'm going to do is actually go to appinventor.org and here's a tutorial. That it's basically the text equivalent to what you're watching right now. Um, it's at appinventor.org. I have a dream. But if I go down on this um, tutorial, I can find oh, there it is the upload media. There's a couple files here. Of course you could download any pictures you want. Okay, but I'm just going to show you I can download these guys. And what I did is control click on this mlk.jpg and save link as. Okay. And what that's going to let me do is is just kind of save this file somewhere on my computer. Okay. And I I'm actually just going to put it on my desktop. Okay. So I just save that. And while I'm here, I'm also going to get the speech by Martin Luther King that that I've set up. Um you can also find uh, you know, sound clips on online but let me go ahead and save this one so if you want to just get started you can just use these files I've set up but just realize of course you can put any any media into your App Inventor apps okay so I've downloaded all I've done is download this, those to my computer okay so now I need to get them into my app okay so my image component I'm going to click on picture upload new browse and I think I was on the desktop, yep, and then here is the file I, I just downloaded, MLK. Okay, say OK, and I should see Martin Luther King show up here, right? Um, good. The last thing I need, need to do to set up my components is grab one more thing, which is called a player component. I'll drag him in, and notice he didn't show up in the in the screen, right? He shows up below in these non-visible components. And the player component is just the component that knows how to play sound clips, okay? He's named player one, and I need to change his source. His source is, is kind of what file he's gonna play um, when he's asked to. So I'm gonna upload new, 
browse. I've got this MP3 file, which is the I Have a Dream speech. Okay, click open, say OK. Um, say OK one more time. And now the player component is set up so he knows what, what to play. Okay, right now this app's going to do nothing. If I bring up my emulator, here's my app, right? But if I click play, nothing happens. Okay, all I've done is kind of set up the components so I'm ready, ready to show you know, what will happen. Okay, in the next lesson, I'll show you how to go to the blocks editor and add behavior to your app.